So in this video, I'm going to teach the difference between a descriptive claim and a prescriptive claim. So first, let's get the definitions up. Descriptive claim. And we could all also call these descriptive propositions. Um, so descriptive claim, a proposition about uh, how things are, okay, whereas a prescriptive claim is going to be a proposition about how things should or shouldn't be. Okay, so once about how things are, it describes how the world is. And the other one, a prescriptive claim is about a proposition about how things should or shouldn't be. Okay, so. Uh, oh, a way to help you think about this is first, we can think of the examples. I mean, these are on page uh, 78. Um, so descriptive claims are things like the cat is on the mat, Jupiter is larger than Saturn, 2 plus 2 equals 4, etc. Prescriptive claims, it is wrong to keep Rover on the chain all day. You ought to allow John to attend the party. Freedom is a basic value. The U.S. needs or should have a different healthcare system. Now, notice like this one, freedom is a basic value. Um, that doesn't have the word should in it, but it's still saying like as a value, it's something we should value, right? It's we should try to have more freedom. That's what we're saying when we're saying freedom is a basic value. Um, it is wrong to keep Rover on a chain all day. It doesn't mention the word should, but by saying it's wrong, we're just saying we shouldn't keep Rover on a chain all day. So that's what makes these claims all prescriptive. Um, some ways to help you uh, remember this is uh, looking at prescriptive claim. You know, a doctor uh, gives you a prescription, right? Here's the med medicines you're supposed to take, or here's the dosage you should take. Um, so that you can think of that when you're thinking of a prescription. That helps me. Uh, for some of you who might end up being philosophy majors, the word for prescriptive claim is, uh, philosophers tend to use the word normative. Okay, a normative claim, but uh, um, we'll just skip to, stick to prescriptive. The word normative is used in different ways in different areas and dis different disciplines, even like in sociology. Um, so we'll just stick with prescriptive. Um, okay, descriptive claims Normally, a journalist is just trying to describe the events, and they're going to try to avoid prescriptive claims. So a journalist will just say, this speech happened, uh, President Biden said this, um, this uh, event, President Biden promised to do this, uh, this person asked that question, and so on. Okay, They're just describing what happened, but they're not going to say, uh, insofar as you're a journalist, they probably won't say, and he was wrong, <laughs> okay? or, or he shouldn't have said that, or blah, 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 right? Um, at least as journalists, uh, they're supposed to just be describing the events. Um, similarly, scientists normally try to stick to the descriptive claims. The scientists will be like, oh, water will boil at this temperature, and uh, uh, this chemical reaction will occur when you mix these two things. Uh, so scientists tend to try to stick to descriptive claims. Okay, so um, so that's an initial uh, description of descriptive claims versus prescriptive claims. And uh, now in the next video, we'll explore it a little more deeply.